Tim's workshop here. Hey, I'm going to make a video uh, here shortly showing you how to make a do-it-yourself boat loader uh, to get your uh, uh, aluminum fishing boat up into the back of your uh, truck bed um, rather than having a trailer. I already got a trailer for my big boat. I don't even need another trailer, you know. And the aluminum boat, I was able to uh, load it into the back of the boat, um, but uh, it's you know it's kind of a struggle by yourself and uh, a lot of times when I go fishing I uh, as, far, uh, as far as the uh, small lakes I go by myself you know it's kind of that's why I go is because it's kind of peaceful you know you don't have to sit there and gab all the time except uh, when I'm trying to make a video of course <laughs> talk to myself but um, so I'm gonna make this video and hopefully uh, you enjoy it and uh, uh, please subscribe uh, and uh, hit the notification bell uh, to get uh, my latest videos. All right, thanks. Okay, got the headset on. So uh, first off, I got the uh, bar I'm going to put across the back and uh, the pulley, right? I have that up there. And uh, I got the rope to uh, pull the uh, winch because uh, I'm going to have the remote control hooked up over here to the battery. So so to be able to pull the winch out to where I can get a hold of it. So this is the uh, Harbor, Harbor Freight uh, winch that I got a long time ago. And uh, what I did, because I want to... The cords are a little short on this to be trying to run it from the back of the truck here so what I did is uh, first off I took off the lugs that were on here and uh, put on some copper copper lugs um, that I got at uh, an auto parts store and uh, to put on the hook up to the battery and then uh, this cord, of course, would have been too short to get to the winch. So I had a extra extra uh, RV cord extension here. So what I did is uh, hooked up the motors and uh, put butt splices down to the, the white wire and the black wire and then capped off the other wires I didn't need here. So I did that and uh, labeled the, the wires motor and these battery while I was doing all that so I didn't get it all mixed up. And then uh, I re-lugged uh, the two that, are gonna, that I'm going to hook up to the uh, winch up there and then capped off the ones not being used. So I got my white ground wire and the black uh, hot wire. So we'll get, get those hooked up. So the uh, so we'll get these. So this uh, here is a negative side. That has little little stamped areas here that shows which is positive and which is negative. So look up the uh, negative one here. Put the other. They have sandwich washers on these, and then. Uh, Run that down. I don't want to leave this hooked up because somebody will steal it. And then also this, uh, I just use uh, self-tapping uh, bolts to uh, put that on in the truck bed so I can take it back off when I don't, when I'm going to use a truck for loading other things. So that'll work. Get this off. Okay, and then hook that up. Wash it back on. Nut back on. And tighten this up. This is a 10, 10 millimeter. So that'll tighten that up. There we go. Then for the battery side, um, these nuts are 14 millimeter, both of them. 
So, at the uh, negative side, I always hook up the negative side first before hooking up the positives. So, we'll do that. Okay, so there's the negative. Yeah, I have my uh, my headgear on for the GoPro, so if it's herky-jerky, it's because I'm not holding my head straight enough. <laughs> and then tighten this up. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so let's pull this out. tied a string to it. It's a easier to get out of there. I don't have to climb in the back of the truck. Alright. Good enough for now. Okay, next. When you run this uh, cable up, haul the boat in here it's a uh, put the cable in the uh, in the pulley so you kind of center center this so it's in the middle with the pulley on the other end and uh, you'll see why in a minute so here's the boat over here I have uh, canoe uh, wheels on the back. It makes it easier to roll around. Oh, also makes it easier to load on the back of the truck. So I didn't realize that would be the case until I started coming up with this idea. A 12 foot aluminum boat, but a little more than I got kind of tired of you know loading it by myself so okay then I made some ramps uh, it's out of a 12 foot ladder uh, I had an extra ladder around uh, took off the things that were sticking out and in the way and then uh, I had some uh, some boards. Let me put this up there so you can see it better. Oh, before you, before I do, I'm gonna lower the tailgate down so it's more of the right angle when loading the boat. like that just more towards the middle like that just like that and put this up in the hole for now Okay, get the other ramp. Now I was thinking about cutting these down to eight foot, but I, I decided, yeah. The boat's going to stick out the back of the truck anyway. So, okay, well, we'll just leave it the way it is for now. If I decide to cut it down later, I will. So, there we go. So, what I did is I put uh, 
put these boards down. They're actually uh, siding boards, yeah, 12 foot, and uh, same length as a ladder. So, so I put them on here, and uh, as you see, I uh, get out of my shadow here. I drilled holes and put uh, tie straps around. I put the tie strap around the uh, ladder uh, steps, and then these to hold the boards away from each other. And it did it in three spots. So they're, they all work real good now. Okay, so let's grab a hold of the handle and get this up here about like that. And pull the, uh, get this all the way out. See if that will hook up here. Pull the boat up a little more, just like that. Put the string in the boat out of the way. And then, uh, put this up on the pulley. Ready to load it. Here we go. Sure, the wheels are going to go up on the ramp, right? I put some handles back here. There we go. So that's what I came up with. I just used a rubber strap and then put the two by four up there. And that stopped it from going back all the way down. And now, let me take this off. in the boat.
Okay. Then put this back up. What I did is I put tension on the on the front, which leaves this nice and loose. And then put this back up. Just like that. And then lower this back down. And then uh, now this up, uh, push this forward. Okay. And then take the slack out of it. And there we go. It's loaded. And then um, we'll slide these ramps in. Get this out of the way. Cables out of the way. This is the first time I've done this, so be patient with me. <laughs> There's always room for improvement, that's for sure. One. And there we go. Now I got to just uh, uh, cinch, cinch this down so it keeps the. Uh, ladders in place while I'm traveling. Wheels are good. They're cinched up here. Just keep an eye on that uh, that cinch. Make sure it's uh, it's still in good shape. It's not going to come apart. I tied the, the, these things in a knot so they're not going anywhere. So there we go. That's uh, for me, it's a it's an easy way of loading the boat. I don't have the the battery in here, so I don't know if I want to put that much weight in here when I'm doing this. So I'm just carrying the uh, the battery in the in the truck. But the other stuff I can put in here that I'm going to go fishing with, as long as stuff that's not going to blow out. Anything that's going to blow out, make sure you put it inside the truck when you're traveling. And then uh, two unloaded. I don't need the ramps for that. Yeah, and to keep the ramps in the in the truck. Lay them down and uh, put the uh, lift it up and put the tailgate up. And while I'm out fishing. So that's the video on uh, do-it-yourself uh, uh, boat loader. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that'll give you some ideas on uh, uh, what to do as far as uh, making yourself uh, something to load your boat on the on the back of your truck um, rather than having another trailer uh, you know if you're by yourself you could still do it and not have to you know go ask people for help to load the load your boat on and off the truck coming off is easy eh? you know I got that canoe cart with the wheels uh, you just pull it off and you're good to go uh, it's putting it on the back of the truck and, and that truck is pretty high off the ground to begin with so if you have like a little uh, little uh, Toyota Datsun truck that's low to the ground, uh, not that big a deal, but you don't have that big a bed either uh, in the back of it, so um, kind of hard to load a boat in a short bed truck. So that's an eight foot bed, so uh, and the boat's 12 foot, so with the tailgate down, it still hangs out a little bit, so but not bad.
All right. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, thanks again.